<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Today, it's just going to be you and me. And if you hit today's play button for this episode, I'm going to guess that you're looking for ways to enhance productivity and foster a positive work culture within your child care center. You see, establishing a shared vision, providing constant feedback, and creating a supportive environment can bring you a multitude of benefits. So let's talk about five advantages that you will have at your center if you implement these practices. Number one is unity and clarity. That's right, unity and clarity. When you establish a shared vision, everyone within your organization is aligned towards a common goal. That clarity ensures that every team member understands the purpose and the direction of their work. By painting a clear picture of the desired outcome, you create a sense of unity among your employees, fostering collaboration and synergy. And oh, do I love synergy. Um, I just moved from one location to another. I typically work in our preschool program. And about two weeks ago, I decided that I was gonna take this year and spend a good deal of my time at my after-school program, which I love. It's really where I started. But I, I spent the last six years in our infant toddler preschool programs. And uh, those programs, you know, they were doing great. Um, but I found that my school age locations started to struggle a little bit in my, I guess I wouldn't say absence, because it wasn't like I wasn't, wasn't there at all, but I was there a lot less of the time. And what I realized was that the vision of the company was not really being shared with everyone in the way that I would have liked it to be. Because guess what? We all, no matter how good we are at what we do, we all make mistakes. We all um, can have times of oversight. And so I am always very honest on this podcast and say, I am far from perfect. Um, but, you know, lots of years of experience and wisdom and continuing to grow and push and set myself to a higher standard um, always gets me back on track. The other thing is it really can help improve performance. You see, when you give consistent feedback, it is a powerful tool for growth and development. By providing regular and constructive feedback, you empower your employees to improve their skills and performance. See, this feedback loop allows them to identify their strengths and areas for their improvement resulting in enhanced productivity and efficiency. And moreover, I feel like employees feel valued and motivated when their efforts are acknowledged and appreciated, leading to increased job satisfaction. And you know, it's really nice to uncover what you're good at because everybody is really great at ripping themselves apart. Well, I'm not great at this and I'm not great at that. But when you ask your employee to give me a list of five things that you think you are really great at, boy, they really do struggle. So I do love that when you give that feedback and you help staff reflect on what they're good at, it really is eye-opening, not just for you, but for them as well. Because many times I think they just overlook all the things that they're great at. It also can help enhance communication. A supportive environment encourages open and honest communication among team members. When employees feel valued and supported, they are more likely to express their thoughts, ideas, and concerns. This open dialogue fosters innovation, problem solving, and creativity as diverse perspectives are shared and considered. Effective communication also minimizes misunderstandings 
and conflicts, leading to smoother workflows and stronger relationships. And wow, that really can be so impactful, not only on the students in the classroom, but for your business in general and how people work together. Um, Because, you know, it's not fun when you're the boss and you are resolving conflicts day after day with your teachers. Um, who have conflicts with each other um, or or with you, uh, it's it's not great. And it creates a very negative work environment and culture. And it's one, if you don't um, address, can really uh, fester. And uh, you don't want to do that. It's not great leadership. So what I'm going to say is, you know, don't wait too long. Um, if something's not right, you've got to speak up and take care of it because your good people are watching. Uh, and they're usually the quiet ones waiting to see how it's going to get resolved. You'll also get increased employee engagement. With a shared vision, consistent feedback, and supportive environment contribute to higher levels of employee engagement. It's just a fact. When employees feel connected to the organization's purpose and goals, they become more invested in the work. They're motivated to go that extra mile. They take ownership and responsibility of their tasks and actively contribute to the success of the team. Engaged employees are more likely to stay with the organization, reducing turnover and recruitment costs. And boy, let me tell you, those recruitment costs are high. Right now, I think um, we just placed an Indeed ad uh, last week for two different positions. And one ad cost me about $600. The other was about five. So it was almost $1,000. Yeah. And honestly, the candidates that came in were um, not qualified to work at my center. So uh, yeah. So you really want to make sure you take care of your great employees and you don't want them to leave. Uh, So you have to do everything you can to make sure that you're keeping them excited about the work, especially the longer that somebody's at a location. Sometimes you got to change it up a little bit for them. So with that, we'll, we'll end with a positive work culture. Creating a supportive environment forces a positive work culture that attracts and retains top talent. Because again, when employees feel valued, respected, and supported, they're more likely to enjoy the work and that sense of belonging. A positive work culture promotes employee well-being, certainly reduces stress levels, and encourages work-life balance. And this in turn leads to higher job satisfaction, increased loyalty, and a more harmonious and productive work environment. And you know, I focus on the word loyalty because I feel like that also is a two-way street, right? So what do I mean by that? So if somebody stays with you a long time, that's certainly loyalty. Are you also loyal to them? Meaning, do they get the best shifts? Do they get um, requests off for days off without feeling bad um, to the best of your ability? Do you pay attention to the things that they like? Do you acknowledge their birthdays? Do you, um, you know, spotlight them in your parent newsletters or on your social media? Like all those things that, show that you equally are loyal to that employee and the contribution that they make to your center. So again, there are so many benefits of establishing a shared vision, uh, constant feedback, and creating a supportive environment. And uh, this week, you know, we we talked a little bit about it. And, um, you know, as, as we go into the new year, I think we all have a fresh mind and want to make things as good as possible for our children, our teachers, and ourselves. So with that, I will say thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. <laughs>